Hey, it's Kevin. Welcome back to The Road Warrior. Other day, school had gone back in session. I was getting ready to head to work, and of course the weather people on TV were basically just, you know, threatening that all the snow we're going to get. Luckily, it wasn't going to, you know, amount to inches, but it could cause problems to work. Now, I've done this long enough. I was involved in the media long enough. I see a scare tactic when I see one. But I thought to myself at the same time, you know, back in my day, way, way, way back in the day, when I was going to school, we yearned and just kind of hoped for those days when it might snow, flip on the TV or flip on the radio and wait for them to call our school name. And I thought, you know, it's not the same anymore. Now, the first thing that changed that was the internet. Once we had the internet, schools could throw it up on their website and you didn't have to wait for the TV or the radio. And trust me, being in the, in the media for years, I didn't mind that so much. We still got a lot of closing, a lot of calls about school closings, things like that, but I, I didn't mind. Then, of course, when schools started connecting and texting with parents, they're able to send out a max, mass text that says, school's canceled today, snow day, no big deal. Third thing that changed all that was COVID. Because of e-learning, school days and uh, you know aren't really cancellations anymore they, they they sometimes are they still build snow days into it but it was always about bus transportation can the buses get the kids to school now we don't have to worry about that as long as the kids bring their computers home every day or their ipads or whatever they're doing their e-learning on yeah it's not the same thing anymore and i don't know if that's a bad thing it's just a different thing but i was thinking about it from the media aspect because that's not a bad thing. It would, it would wreck an entire day where you'd have to throw the entire format out the window because all you were doing was weather and school closings. And, and because everybody else was doing it, you really didn't have a distinct advantage. There was really no way for everybody to be the first one who got the school closing. There was no way to break school closings unless you know somebody on the, on the radio station, the TV station, was married to somebody in the school board and got the first call before everybody else got the call. You know, it doesn't work that way. But I thought to myself just how different those little details are. And again, how many snow days were there? I'll be honest, back in my day, and again, I went to school in Wyoming and Illinois and Virginia. So I had, you know, three different climates, if you will. The snowy west, the sometimes snowy midwest, and then the not so snowy east, or southeast, I guess, really. And the one thing I can tell you, same amount of snow days probably, it was just a matter of how many inches triggered that. Since I never rode a school bus, it didn't affect me in the same way. A lot of times in Illinois, I walked to school. I walked to either grade school or junior high school or then rode, literally rode my bike until I got my car to high school. Yeah, it's kind of funny how the times change. And again, not a bad thing. Just, you know, kind of yearn for the older days. Kids won't know the pain we went through. Trudging uphill both ways. You, you know the old drill. I know it's kind of silly, but it's kind of funny how technology has really changed all of that. And now kids will never know the pain and the joy. Back next week, another Road Warrior, KevinMason.us. Home to all the Road Warrior videos. We're on Facebook. We're on YouTube. You know the drill. Like, comment, share. Click subscribe down below, all that kind of stuff. Love it when you come back. Love it when you come by every week. We'll be back next week with another one. Hopefully good weather too. See ya.